Welcome to Grassroots Gazette, from the ground up, where football lives and breathes. Join us as we explore the heart of the game. This is Grassroots Gazette, from the ground up. Hey, 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 how you doing, Joe? Woo, 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 woo. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hey, how are you? I'm good, I'm yes, good, I I'm can. good. Can you hear me? Did you see that? Did you see that interview? Doing my thing. Laura doing her yes, <laughs> So fun. <laughs> All right, so I've just got nice. a few. I just got a few topics for us to just have a little discussion about. See what you guys' views are. So the first one is FIFA Pro research has indicated the increase in demands on the professional women's football players, resulting in notable injuries, knee injuries, thigh injuries, hamstrings, ACLs. Are you finding the same thing happening in Groose in, in Groose in grassroots? Are women getting injured a lot? Is that is that a thing happening? Laura, you go first. Let's see. Um, yeah, I mean, for sure, in, in our team, we've had um, we've already had an ACL injury this year, and we've had like a couple of ankles, um, a shoulder. Like we 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 see a lot of them um, injuries, and and yeah, and, and every day I talk to people to people from other teams, and they keep telling telling me that there's there's always someone with the ACL done, and I think yeah, I think it's becoming becoming more and more um, habitual. Joe, do you think it's something to do with the the pitches or is it fitness? What do you think is going on? I think there's a lot of factors towards it because, um, like, all that money is going through to professional football players, but grassroots are not. So there is more injuries in grassroots than that level. Yeah. Because they've got the help, they've got the rehab progress quite quickly. Grassroots don't the way it's weeks months to see a physio a doctor so the balance is not there i would say fair enough so did, i'm guessing you guys don't have a, a physio at the south london club no um we we are our own physios basically, <laughs> basically yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i think joe knows a lot of stuff about injuries every time i'm seeing her she's got her leg up and in the next minutes Pitch side, I tell you, she's amazing. <laughs> so that's great. All right, fair enough. Next question. This one is very controversial. Here we go. I don't know if you guys heard what Joey Barton said. Did you hear? I don't think so. He said women should stick to women's football. He doesn't want you guys in the men's football. So basically he's saying the pundits like Alex Scott and all them girls shouldn't be talking about men's football. What do you say to Joey Barton? That's just stupid. I mean, why why not? Like we all know we all know football. We all love football. Why couldn't why shouldn't we speak about football even if it's not women's football? Like it yeah. yeah. I don't I don't know why he made that comment. Maybe there's something inside of him, like some insecurity or something, but it makes no sense. Yeah, I, I personally think that he's going off that like, you know, sometimes people misspeak or they say some wild things. Like I can't remember what her name was, but there was a pundit who said she thinks Arteta phoned Pep to up the price for for Rice, and then Arsenal can come in. That she was like, "Yeah, managers do that because I've done it." Da, 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 da. I think like certain comments like that, but men do the same thing. Men chat fart too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Rio the other day just said Arteta would run to Man United. Like, come on, come on. But what do you say about that, Joe? Talk to me, Joey Barton. Oh, she's frozen. <laughs> Hello, Joe. Are you there? I mean, yeah, you go. my connection is quite bad. I can't lie. I, it's like on and off. So um, I can hear you now. So I didn't. Joey Barton said women should yeah. stick to well, women's football. That's a question. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the question is. Women's football. It's just football. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. It's just football. Yeah. It's just football. Facts. Facts. Yeah, it's just <laughs> football. Yeah, no, no, I totally football agree. Men's football, it's just football. Yeah, I think I think he has a problem. I think he just has a problem with women. To tell you the truth, there's <laughs> no like there's, there's no enough. way around it. There's no way around it because That's otherwise you can say the same thing about why are men in women's football? That makes no sense. It's football. Yeah, exactly. You know That's dumb. You know what I mean? But yeah, all right. I just wanted to make sure I get some actual real women's views on that. Um, Here's one. There's a good light one. What do you guys think about this blue card slash sin bin talk? Uh, <laughs> and would you would you take it in grassroots? <laughs> we we already have sin bins. So oh. I mean, 
So yeah, like me. we and, and and the thing is, we don't even see them that much. Like it's such a weird concept that it's like in between a foul and a yellow card. But like most of the time, some if a player does something bad enough for a yellow card, they get a yellow card. And like there's we barely see any Simmons. So I, I don't think it makes sense. Okay, so you have is it a, an official thing? You have it. Oh, there, it's just a sin bin. Okay, Joe, what's your opinion on this sin bin? We don't really have them. We be in the Premier League. We haven't had any anything on that this season. Not one. It's not on. It's not in our league. So I think that that we're oh, not okay. taking. You're <laughs> <laughs> not adding it. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a joke. I think I think they're just just messing around, trying to make football entertainment, and it is entertainment already. You don't need yeah. to be adding all this. Yeah, it, it's into like it. little, little things. For- like that's 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 not part of the game is it yeah exactly they're just uh, they're just messing around with it all right here we go got two more just quick ones is the in your view is the rivalry in the wsl weaker than the premier league and when i say rivalry i mean like man city taking on man united arsenal versus tottenham do you find that the the tension isn't there or or is it there do you do you let me know what you think laura um i think I mean, it is there because the tension is, at the end of the day, is between the clubs, right? So Arsenal is always going to hate Spurs. Um, United is always going to hate um, Liverpool or City. So it, the tension is there. Maybe um, maybe you can't really feel it that much because the stadiums are not as, as full. Um, but yeah, that's, that's something that can... Um, that will it will keep evolving, I think, and it will it will get to to a level of tension that um, we see in the men's. But then again, it's not it's not really necessary to have... Um, the level of, I guess, abuse that we see in the men's. So, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say, yeah, I wouldn't say the abuse, bring that in there. But, you know, sometimes tension brings the abuse. But sadly, yeah, no, I agree with you. The, the abuse doesn't need to be there. But th- yeah. that's the reason why I love Katie McCabe. She, for me, she's like, she's taken the men's rivalry and she brings it down. Yeah. There. I, lo- I love her so much. Yeah, that. me too. Because <laughs> it's like, we, Arsenal women, they loan players to Tottenham women. Ah, oh, come on! That wouldn't happen in the men's. That's not. No, happening. no, no. That's that's not okay. That's crazy, Joe. What do you think about that? The rivalry. Do you think the, the, it's a good thing that I it's mean, not so it, intense? It is there, but just, it is a good thing to have it. But because it's not as like aggressive yeah. as the men's football, um, people don't don't really tend to see it or speak about it. So people that go to actually the games, they do see it, but they actually. It's the rival, but for the football itself, you know, like for the game itself. Um, so, like I've seen Spurs and Arsenal once in the stadium. You, mm-hmm. you, you do have that rival, but there's not like that, you know, mouthy words and things like that, like you see in the men though. So it is all about the football. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because even when I'm watching the WSL, I'm like, oh my god, why have you mixed the fans up? They shouldn't be mixed, but it's a whole different vibe. In my, in my yeah. mind, I'm yeah. like, that person's gonna get hurt. Get them out of there. But it's all good. It's all good. I'm like, no, don't do it. You're gonna get people hurt. But yeah, different vibes. Totally different vibes. All right, yeah. lovely. Last topic. Back to grassroots. Can you give me five things that you think the grassroots needs right now? So one is the grass. We need better grass, right? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Can you give me you give me two, and then Joe give me two? Yeah, um, I think um, some sort of way to hold refs accountable for um, performances, because My- many times we've seen refs absolutely like they they don't do anything. They're just there. They don't even they're not even looking at um, at the game. At some point, I had a ref that was so hungover that he started throwing up in the pitch. Wow. So we need a way to to hold them accountable and like yeah get, make sure that they're performing to the standard that we need because it's they, such are, an are, important. Are they, not, are they not um what's it called F, FA refs are they not FA refs? They are. Oh <laughs> they my, are and, and oh apparently yeah and they get ratings but I don't think they do much about the ratings like yeah we can rate them low but I don't think it does much because we keep seeing performances like this week after week. Wow, um, that's that's yeah. crazy. See how no one I've never heard that before. That's crazy. Yeah, uh, Joe, you got one. So we got two so far. We got grasses and refs need to be checked. I mean, ref, ref was was going to be one of mine as well. 
I would say <laughs> like line linemen, like having actual line, like two two line yeah. people to actually do it because you know it is cross. Like players don't feel comfortable doing it because they might feel scared that that they're going to get shouted at because they've done like wrong. So I I think having like two proper FA linesmen would really really help. Um, I mean, the other one, my my other one was also. I've got to think of another one now. <laughs> um, one for me. We got two. We need two more. Uh, what about travel? Anything? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, we need. I mean, I think that's more. In a, yeah, I mean that that's uh, that's a job for the club to oh. to facilitate traveling. But every week, every Sunday, I spent at least two hours in the two or in the train or whatever, mm -hmm. and it's. I mean, for me personally, I like it because I can I get in the zone. I start I get my music on. I start visualizing visualizing and stuff. But um, but yeah, it's quite painful and um and it's also a lot of money. Like we spend so much money traveling. Cool, cool. Um, well, let me see if I can throw some ideas in. What about if you could have a physio? I know it's probably oh. again, that's a club thing, but you know, yeah. like, maybe if it was relegated, that all all teams need to have you know X, Y, and Z. Are they like um? What's it called? Ambulances and like St. John's at your games, just in case. Is there anything like that? No. no? Um, no? From what no. I know, the only thing available is... We only um, <laughs> the, the box and that's it. Wow. Yeah. Wow, yeah. See, you look really out there by yourselves, for real. All right, yeah. cool. Well, we can leave the last two spots for the viewers. Let them fill that out if they can help us out. So I've got one more thing to do with you two, which is start bench sell. I've got one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. And then that Ooh. will be it. Yeah. Are you ready? Let's do it. <laughs> this is going to be fun. This is going to be yeah. fun. All right. So the first one is Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, or Mbappe. Start uh, bench well. All right. Nora, you go first. All right. Um, God, I see, like, you put me in the spot here because I am a Real Madrid <laughs> fan. Oh. So I mean I think I would fuck um sell Cristiano because he's no, Cristiano. he would give me a lot of money. Um and I would uh bench Messi and play Mbappe. Woo! Joe, really controversial, yeah. <laughs> what you got, Joe? Uh ooh. <laughs> That's three big names. Yeah. <laughs> make it uh, I, ooh, I'll probably bench Ben Mbappe. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that means one of the goats sell is Messi. Look at you, so you sell uh, Messi. She sells the other one was, <laughs> yeah, play. One of the goats got a go. So that means Mbappe's there, boy. All right, cool, <laughs> lovely. Next one. We up. We got Rashford, yeah. Grealish. Or son. Ooh, God. Um. God, God, God. No. I'm not really. I'm not a fan of of Grealish. Um. I think he's Ooh. over overhyped. So I would sell him. Um. Yeah. Um. Son and I would. I would. Uh. Play. Oh God. See, because I'm. Stressed. I know. I know. I know. But son is really good. I. Yeah, he is. I mean, yeah. Let's, let's, play show, son. let's show them that we don't hate. Let's show them. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all neutral right now. Um. <laughs> Yeah, no, play Son and, uh, and Bench Rashford. Lovely. Joe, you there? Lovely. Can you hear me? I think her connection's gone again. Joe, Joe? Yeah. Can you hear us? Hello? Can you hear us? Frozen. Yep. We can hear you. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So... Ras Here you go. Yeah. Yeah, Rashford, Grealish, Son. Sorry? Rashford, Grealish, or Son? Oh. So it's sell, bench, and the other one is? Start. Start. Um, I'll start Rashford. Oh. Uh, I would... The other one is Sun and Grealish. 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 Ooh. Yeah, I'll sell Sun and bench Grealish. <laughs> Grealish. Fair enough. All right. Next up, we got Declan Rice, J 
Jude Bellingham or Rodri? Ha. Um, God. <laughs> yeah. I would sell rice. Yeah. Um, I would bench Roddy and play Bellingham. You know, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, what are you doing? Joe, are you there? <laughs> Mine's quite simple, I would say. Yeah, I would say I'll keep Bellingham. I'll start him off. And then, yeah, bench. No, I'll sell. I'll sell rice. Um, and then bench the other one. Yeah. Same. Same. Start, Same you start, you're starting Bellingham. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Here we go. Yeah. WSL time. So we got, we got Russo. We got Alex Greenwood from City, and we got Ella Tony from United. Um, I would uh, start Russo. I love Russo. Um, <laughs> Greenwood uh, bench and sell with Tony. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that player. Ella, Ella Tony, and is it Tony? Is that how you say it? It's Tune. T double Tune. Sorry, Tony. Tune. Yeah. <laughs> sell Tune. Sell Tune. Yeah. Joe, what you doing? I hope she can hear me. I hope she's thinking. Frozen. <laughs> um, I'll... No, no, I'm here, I'm here, yeah. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here. Cool. Um, I would <laughs> play Ruzo. Um... <laughs> so far we only got Russo playing oh and then I would um, sell to Greenwood yeah so, yeah and, and then, then put Tooney Tooney uh, yeah on the bench alright here we go again so we got Jordan Nobbs Lisa Evans and Katie McCabe ah uh, play McCabe oh yeah um, <laughs> bench Nobbs and um, sell Lisa who was it who was it yeah Lisa, Lisa Evans. Yeah. Joe, what you doing? Uh, I'll sell Lisa. It's I've 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 got the same as Laura to be honest. <laughs> I can't lie. <laughs> great great I've mindset. The same order. All up there, all up there. Lovely. All right, here we go. Next three yeah, true. is <laughs> Alex Alex Morgan. I hope you guys know these these are like the most popular players that I Googled. Alex Morgan. Anna Marie Makovic and Marta. Ah, I would play Marta. Bench um, Alex Morgan Ooh. and I don't know the I don't know the last one. Um, Anna Marie Makovic. Who did she play? Grasshoppers. Oh, I have no idea. I would sell her because I don't know her. Sorry. Oh. Joe, what are we doing? <laughs> She's, she's getting <laughs> put, put two of my favorite footballers there, Marta and Alex Morgan. Boom. Yeah. Fair so enough. I, enough said after that. <laughs> but who's starting? Where are you putting them? Who's starting? Who's getting benched? But Marta's starting. I'll always be my number one. Alex and the other one can go. <laughs> Same. Same. Yeah. See, I got, I got a feeling that Anna Marie is one of those very pretty players. That's why she's up there. You know what I mean? Mm. She's quite stunning, quite like. All right, last one. <laughs> last one is Beckham, Gerard, or Lampard? Ooh. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm quite I'm quite young for it. <laughs> answer to this. Um, I would say Beckham starts um just because he's a um, you know Madrid legend. And nice. I don't know, I didn't know, I didn't know that you guys counted him as a legend. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, um, he was part of the Galactica, so yeah, he's up there. And um, I don't know between Lampard and Jared, Jared, I think that's going to be quite controversial, controversial as well. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say a bench both if I can. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, what you gonna do? Talk to me. I would start with Lampard, 
as a Chelsea, come on, I have to. And then Beckham <laughs> on the bench. And then I'll sell Gerard. And you're selling Gerard. Lovely. And that is the end of the show. Guys, I appreciate you. I appreciate Love it. You. Guys, it was good. I liked it. It was so fun. Thank you for joining us on Grassroots Gazette. From the ground up, remember, the spirit of football lives within us all. Until next time, keep the passion alive and the dream soaring. This has been Grassroots Gazette. From the ground up.